Which do I prefer? I'll show you on one side with makeup and the other with that. If you don't wear makeup, this sunstick is you can see. Anyang, this is Yuhi from One Eye Beauty, the place to find all the Korean beauty info in one eye. Now that all of the best of 2023 awarded products have been released here and there, I thought I'd go deep into this one product that has been viral in Korea for three consecutive years. Brown Lip Burst Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen. This product has won an Olive Young Awards 2021, 2022, and 2023. I have also picked this as one of my top three Korean sunscreens previously in my shorts video, which is my most well-performed video so far, hitting over 120K views. My shorts videos don't perform that well in general, so that is remarkable. And in that video, one of my subscribers has asked me, what is the difference between the Brown Lip Burst Juice Sunscreen and Sunstick? So I thought it'd be good to talk about all of these products in one video, the sunscreen, the sun stick, and the sun cushion. All of these products has been awarded as number one in Hua Hair app, Korea's most trusted beauty app. So let's find out what's so great about these products, see if they're worth it, and after going through about each of these products, I'll be showing you other alternative options. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video. Before we kickstart, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Kamsamda, thank you so much. In today's video, I'll be showing you both chemical and mineral sun care products. So before I start the reviews, let me bring back the clip where I previously explained about the differences between the chemical and mineral sunscreens. The mineral sunscreen known as the skin reflectors as it sits on top of your skin like a shield that bounces off the UV rays. Unlike the chemical sunscreen that absorbs into your skin, inactivating UV rays through a chemical reaction. As the mineral sunscreen sits on top of your skin rather than getting absorbed into your skin, it's more suitable for acne prone or sensitive skin types. Now let's get into the real business, the main product of this video. Round Lab Burst Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Pluses. A viral Korean sunscreen that has won everything. It has won Olive Young Awards for three consecutive years. It won the Globic Awards and the Hua Hair Awards. This has swept all the awards. This Korea's most sought after sunscreen has been viral not just in Korea but in global market as well. So it is one of the rare product that has done very well both nationally and internationally. This is a lightweight chemical sunscreen with 1425 ppm of burst juice which is an antioxidant, blemish free and skin hydrating ingredient. It contains hyaluronic acid that also boosts hydration, niacinamide, a multifunctional ingredient for skin brightening, controlling sebum production, and anti-aging. This also contains another anti-aging and skin soothing ingredient, adonisin and ascorbic acid, the purest form of vitamin C. This sunscreen feels moisturizing and comfortable on the skin with a slight dewy finish and no white cast. This contains plenty of good chemical UV filters listed here, which are both efficient in protecting UVA and UVB sun rays, so you'll be well protected with the sunscreen. The brand claims that this can be used as two-in-one, both moisturizer and sunscreen. Yes, I do understand that this has a very moisturizing texture, but I would not advise you to do that, especially if you have a dry skin, you need that moisturizer gel underneath the sunscreen. Overall, this is an excellent sunscreen suitable for both dry and oily skin types. And if you have a dry skin type, you will love it, especially for its moisturizing and dewy finish. Those of you with sensitive skin may need to be a little bit careful about using the sunscreen, as I've heard of some skincare experts claiming that as this contains so many ingredients, which are all great skin benefiting ingredients. However, as those are all combined in one, this may not be suitable for sensitive and breakout prone skin types. And those of you who react to niacinamide should avoid this as well. The most similar product to this sunscreen, in my opinion, is this one over here. Another viral sunscreen product from Beauty of Joseon, Ryzen Probiotic Sunscreen. I have previously done a comparison shorts video of these two sunscreens using my UV mirror, testing their UV protection over 10 hours time. So if you're interested, go and check out that shorts video from the above video card. This is another lightweight and moisturizing chemical sunscreen giving a dewy finish and this also contains niacinamide. Niacinamide is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. It has so many skin benefits, but unfortunately I did hear that some of you out there react to niacinamide, so I thought I'd better mentioned that both of these contain niacinamide. Out of these two, which do I prefer? 
If you have been watching my videos, I think you'll know the answer. Definitely this one for me. I know there are so many of you out there who love this sunscreen. I'm sorry, don't leave me. My nine-year-old son sings this all the time. It really gets me, but now I'm singing it to you guys. Moving on to the next product, Round Lamp Burst Juice Moisturizing Sun Stick. SPF 50 plus PA 4 pluses. This is another old winning chemical sun care product famous for its moisturizing texture just like the Round Lamp sunscreen. This feels light and moisturizing on the skin with skin soothing botanical extracts derived from birch tree, kelp, aloe and other plants. It also contains niacinamide and peptide for anti-aging and skin brightening benefits. It glides really well on the skin, leaving your skin feeling smooth and moisturizing without any stickiness, leaving a subtle dewy finish. This contains good chemical UV filters as well, listed here. I don't use sun sticks for full daily sun protection as you need to apply four passes. After four passes, my makeup doesn't sit very well. Sunscreens are definitely better to apply underneath the makeup, but sun sticks are great for reapplication. So I carry this in my handbag and take it into the car with me as a quick sun protection solution. It's better than nothing, right? If it's difficult to reapply sunscreen, this is a great option. As I use this mainly for reapplication, when it comes to sun sticks, it's important for it to not to smudge or remove my makeup. So I'll show you on one side with makeup and the other without. If you don't wear makeup, this sun stick is great as it is very comfortable and moisturizing on the skin. The only downside would be that after using this sun stick for a while, it sometimes leaves these bits of gunk as you apply, so you need to fix these with your hands. If this happens on the skin without makeup, you can assume what trouble it will cause on top of the makeup, yeah? This does remove your makeup a bit, unfortunately, and just like on the side without makeup, you'll sometimes get these gunks coming out, which might make your makeup messy at the same time. So this needs fixing with your hands. Doing so kind of defeats the purpose of using a sun stick is you can't be completely hands-free. That was my completely honest negative feedback on this sun stick, but I still use this, always carry it around with me for reapplication as it glides really well, feels moisturizing and smooth on the skin. And as it contains aloe, unlike the sunscreen, which I think where the cooling sensation is coming from, it feels especially nice in summertime. This packaging is a bit weak and flimsy, but Round Lab, they redesigned the sun stick shape and packaging, which looks like this now, and it looks much more solid to me. So I can guess that they have improved this packaging. Let me know if you have tried that newest version. And the other sun stick products that are most close to it, the Round Lab Burst Juice Moisturizing Sun Stick are these ones over here, a bit quick sun stick and Tokobo Cotton Soft Sun Stick. I have shown you these products before, so if you want to check out more about these products, you can refer to my video cards above. Both of these products are great for reapplication on top of the makeup as they don't smudge your makeup as much. In my opinion, this round lip sun stick sits right in between these two sun sticks. The reason I say that is because the Tokobo sun stick has a matte finish, but it's not as dehydrating on the skin, surprisingly. And this Abib sun stick is very hydrating on the skin, but it does turn a bit greasy after a while. And this round lip sun stick doesn't turn greasy at all. So it's difficult with all these different pros and cons, right? Which one would you choose? Moving on to the last Round Lab Sun Care product over here. Round Lab Burst Juice Moisturizing Sun Cushion SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Pluses. This is another old winning sun care product from Round Lab. And unlike the previous two, this is a mineral sun care product, so it'll be suitable for sensitive and trouble skin types. Mineral sunscreens can leave a bit of a white cast on your face, so I was a bit concerned about that with this. And some of you may have seen the review from Alice in the Rabbit Hole and she has shared that this leaves loads of white cast. Hmm. Does it really? Before we find that out, let's have a look at the product. This is such cute packaging. If you look at the sponge, its size and the tear shape are well designed for easy application everywhere around the face. This contains skin hydrating and soothing botanical extracts such as 
birch tree sap, aloe, kelp and other plant-based extracts leaving the skin feeling hydrated with a cooling sensation. So its ingredients sound very similar to the sunstick. By now you guys will be wondering, so what about on the face? Does it leave loads of white cast? Yeah? Well let's find out now. With this cushion, let me show you on the side with the makeup first. You can see that it does leave a bit of a white cast but this turns into more of a tone up effect giving a slight glow. I do like this glow that leaves on top of my makeup and it didn't remove much of makeup either. Now on the side without the makeup, you can notice the white cast a lot more and not so much of the glow. So in my opinion, I think this is not too bad for a reapplication on top of the makeup. The white cast gives a bit of a natural tone up effect and the glowing finish at the same time. And it's hydrating cream-like texture left my skin feeling hydrated for a long time. Looking through the Korean consumers reviews, they seem to love this for its hydration and cooling sensation. And those with troubled skin who cannot apply sunscreen or the sunstick, they seem to love this as well. And I know that Western consumers, they hate the tone up sun care products but Koreans seem to like this for that reason as well. So I can see why this is popular in Korea and I think this would suit more to fair skin types who are looking for skin glowing and hydrating sun care product that's suitable for reapplication. Because of its bit of a white cast, I'm not sure if this will be suitable for those of you with a deeper skin tone. But there is another similar product to this one over here. BT Essence Sun Pact. This is SPF 50 plus PA 3 pluses and in my opinion this is the most closest product to the Roundlet Burst Juice Sun Cushion. I have done a review on this previously in my Media Star Vana Awards video so if you want to find out more details on this go and check out that video. This is a great sun care product to reapply on top of your makeup as it Gives a bit of a tone up effect, but don't go yet, it's not overpowering. It gives a nice glow all over without removing your makeup and it feels hydrating on the skin and your sun protected at the same time. So which one would you choose? This one or this one? If you're interested in shopping for any of these products I've mentioned in today's video, all the shopping links will be down in the information section below, so go and check them out. And please leave a comment. Have you tried any of these products? What kind of video you would like to watch in the future? I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next Korean skincare video. Annyeong! Thank you.